Hello friends, I'm going to teach you about poison ivy. Right here, right here is poison ivy and right here is poison ivy. And, and then the root. And where are the poison ivy root? You saw one on a tree too, right? And then there's, and then there's some metal one right here. And some people say that that looks like a monkey tail, doesn't it? the root on the tree. So, you know, you can always, you know, look very quickly at trees and see if there's a hairy root that's growing up the tree. Poison, poison ivy, often you can see in this tree all these green leaves all up inside this tree is actually poison ivy. And if you see this root, this hairy root growing on a tree, you want to look down around the bottom because you'll usually find a few sprigs. We're standing by the creek and I always look carefully along a creek bank because especially in the winter, you know, fall, winter, spring, after the leaves have already fallen off, it's hard to tell when you're looking at areas, you know, like this over here, if there are any of those roots could be poison ivy roots. And the urethial or the oils um, that cause the skin irritation can be in the roots, they can be in dead leaves, and I, it may be an old wives' tale and I need to look it up, but um, I've heard that the urethial can stay active for over a decade <laughs> in the roots. So even if this root on this tree was, you know, completely, you know, dead poison ivy, um, those root fibers could still um, potentially for many, many years cause um, skin irritation. So once again, um, if you see right here, uh, this is a poison ivy, these three leaves right here, and then down here is poison ivy, and then this root that goes up this tree is poison ivy, and then this is an evergreen tree, but if you look up carefully, all of these green leaves 